In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to disable buttons dynamically in JavaScript. First, um, let's say I have a form and some button in it. So type button, uh, value, whatever you want the button to say. And now you can see it show up uh, in the browser. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So you can see it's a clickable button. Now to select this button and store it in a variable, I'm going to use a document.query selector function. This is the function that selects uh, an element using a CSS selector. So here I only have one input, so I'm going to use an input tag to select elements. So I'm also going to assign it to the button variable. So now we can work with that variable to disable the button. So how do you do that? You simply want to change the disabled property of that button object to true. So and once you do that, refresh the browser and you will see that um, the button was disabled. Now to enable the button again you can set it to false. You can also use the set attribute um, function because basically it's disabled as a property but set attribute is going to set it to whatever value. Uh, just make sure that you use the second argument and set it to anything you want. Uh, basically you can set it to true but um, it doesn't really matter. It could be uh, pretty much any value. It could be a string, it could be a number. Um, JavaScript will interpret that as if you're setting it to true. So, um, because really all we're doing is setting a property, not an attribute. And basically, as you can see, um, set, uh, let's say I'm going to use one, the button is still disabled. It doesn't matter what you put in there. Uh, it simply sets the property disabled into that HTML element. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial.